Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets, to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought, until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. No, sir, I understand. You can't. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood.
Oh, Mr. Kazim, I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hey, how you doing? Hey, buddy, this area is off limits. Smart move. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And... That terminal gives me an idea. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Right this way, Hello, oh you are going the wrong way. Help! Somebody, help me! I'll wait until you go. Okay, what was that? we need to man up! Please, follow me. What's going on here? What happened? Guy, over there, naked and not moving! Go! Okay, thank you, thank you. You've done your part. Now leave it to the pros. Come in, come in! Where are you going? I found a half naked. I'll be is expecting you in the conference room. Man. I'll just wait here until he gets back. What's up?
Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Greetings, sir. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. Do you think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balled billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Hey, man. You're not coming through here, mate. That is, the Royal Highness of Warren Allen is always proud of penthouse. Correct. I heard rumors. Yes, again. I know, right? There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six.
There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Can't believe James called in sick. Of all dollars for something you're just gonna walk on all day? I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Lucy will. She'll flip. Your mom. Good to see you. Hey, stay safe.
worry, my boss. This secret is safe for me. Carl knows nothing. And I hope you won't forget that. How you know? I gave you a very good I'm sorry I missed it. Yes, so am I. And remember. We think, sir. Shifting. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Make sure he has his papers and call. Okay? Of course, sir. We'll let you know. Just get him up here. Or I'll make a personal complaint to His Royal Highness. And you. Excuse me, I talked to one of your people inside the exhibition, but I think she is kind of slow. But maybe you can help? Uh, I don't know, I can try. The sun. It's not as bright as it should be, do you know why? I'm sorry, I'm backstage muscle. I don't know anything about the tech stuff. Okay, doesn't really surprise me. Well, thank you for your help. Have a nice day. Well, same to you, sir. Check his papers first. I don't need to waste my time with some new 
expects the best. I'll be sure to contact you as soon as he turns up. It's better than not. Good. And please, when I come back, no more excuses. I'm a personal friend of His Royal Highness, Omar El Hazard. Excuse me. I've talked to one of your people inside the exhibition, but I think she is kind of slow. But maybe you can help? Uh, I don't know. I can try. The sun. It's not as bright as it should be. Do you know why? Sorry, I'm just backstage muscle. I don't know anything about the textile. Okay. Doesn't really surprise me. Well, thank you for your help. Have a nice day. Well, same to you, sir. Anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Hey, how are you? Iverson won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Upstairs, that is the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali's private penthouse. Am I correct? I heard rumors he has some guests of some significance. Now, I understand he probably signed an NDA.
Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Reliable source that the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. You don't talk much. Do you? Whoa! What a shock! Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. You can enter whenever you're ready, sir.
Greetings, sir. Yeah. Hey. Here, sir. This area has been declared a restricted area by authority of the installation. You're Use of deadly forces authorized. Stand back. Some kind of food game? Talk to me. What's going on? Listen up. We got a situation here. God, please, God. All right, mate. Somebody hey, help you. me. You got a gun, right? We've got trouble. Hey. All right, look alive. We're moving out. Okay, okay. Hey, you all right? 
Okay, it seems like we've got some sort of situation. Please, let us do our job. Okay, I get it. Hey, we got a situation in. Gotta find the top of Charlie. I have arrived at the location and it looks clear. Over. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. Good today, sir. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. That's never going to change. I mean, some countries go out of their way to fund the arts. I hope you have had time to see the Canada. art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Mr. Ingram is expected. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Hi there, friend. What? Are you stupid or something? You yes. are pushing your luck. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Oh, sorry. We have Excuse Ingram right minute. where we want him. Just something. 47, you, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. How you doing? All right, where were we? Ah, yes. My man here will stay for the meeting, and I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim.
well. I usually have my people talk to people I need. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I uh, need. The Royal Highness has told you, but my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by becoming an out. Yes, I do. Good. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.